Hello everyone. So we have chapter three, question number one. What does question say? First of all, let us clear that. So for each group in the following list, so these are the groups given to us. Find the order of the group and the order of each element in the group. What relation do you see between the orders of the element of a group and the order of the group? Okay. So first of all, we will try to find the order of the group. So what is order of the group? Basically, it is the number of elements that a group have. So what we will do? We will start mentioning first. So we have Z12. So uh, Z12, we have 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 up to 11. That means what is the order of Z12? So we represent order as this or we also represent as this order of Z12, which is equals to 12, because we are ending with 11 and starting with zero. Now, this is the order of the group. Similarly, we will find order of every group. So first of all, let us find the order of each element of a group. What do you mean by order of each element? So suppose we take any element A, we have to find the minimum positive integers such that A to the power N gives identity. So in Z12, we have identity as 0. So we have to find for every element what does the power or what is basically n that gives 0. So n should be minimum. So let us start. So if you find order of 0, it is simply 1 because 0 to the power 1 gives 0. Okay. Now for 1, so order of 1 is basically so 1 to the power, how much will give you 0? Because it's going on modulo 12. So you have to do 1 to the power 12. Then it will become 12. And this will be 0 mod 12. So now you can see that order of 1 is equals to 12. Uh, one more thing. If this GCD in such a case, the GCD of 12 with any one is 1, then the order will be 12. So you can see the order of 12 is also for 5, also for 7, and also for 11. So these have order 12. Now for order of 2, we have 6. Why? Because 2 to the power 6 is basically adding 2 6 times. So which is 12 and 12 mod 12 is 0. Okay. So similarly, order of 3 will be 4. Order of 4 will be 3. Order of 5 we have written. Order of 6 will be 2. Order of 7 we have written. Order of 8 will be 3. Why is this? Because 8 plus 8 plus 8 in 3 times, it gives you 24. That will be 0 with modulo 12. So order of 8 is equals to 3. Similarly, order of 9 is equals to 4 because it will give you 36. And order of 10 will be 6. And the order of 11 is 12 again. Now, uh, it is also asking what is the relation you see between the orders of the elements and the order of group. So if you see that the order of group that we have is 12. Now, if you notice, you will see 1, then 12, 6, 4, 3, 2, Every number 6 is dividing 12, okay? So basically what you can say is order of element divides order of group. This is the relation you find from here. Similarly, if I will try to showcase for rest of the groups. So let us do one by one. So we have U10. So U10 is basically 1, 3, 7, and 9. All those elements less than 10, but co-prime to 10. Okay. Whose GCD with 10 is 1. Then the order of U10 is 4. Now let us start finding all the order. So identity have always order 1. Now. Order of 3. So start multiplying 3 and let's see what gives you 1. So 3 times 3 is basically 9. 9 won't give you 1 with 
rather it will give you minus 1. So 9 with 3 will give you 27. This will give you 7. Again with 3 it gives you 81. And this will give you 1 mod 10. So order of 3 is basically 4. Now order of 7 is again 4. And order of 9 is 2. So you can get it from here now. So all the elements you can see order we have written. Again U12, let's start writing. So in U12 we have 1, we have uh, 5, then we have 7 and then we have 11. So if you start finding the order of these elements, so you will see order of 1 will be 1. Order of 5 will be uh, 2 because 5 times 5 is 25 and 24 that will cancel, cancel out. Similarly, order of 7 is also 2 because 49 is there. So 1 will be the remainder. And order of 11 is also 11 times 11 is 121. 120 will be cancelled out and we will have 2 as order. Uh, one thing also you note that order of element cannot exceed order of 2. It can be equal but it cannot exceed. Similarly for U20 if you find. So U20 is basically 1, 3, 7, 9. 11, 13, 17, and 90. Okay. Now, if you see for the order, you can find by simply multiplying. So, you have 1. Order of 3 is uh, basically 3 times 3. If you do 4 times, it will give you 81. But when you do modulo with 20, it gives you 1. So, it will be 4. Also, for order of 7 is also 4. For 13 and for 17 is also 4. You all need to find all these. Now, for uh, we have 9. So, order of 9 is basically equal to order of 11 and is also equal to order of 19. And these are equals to 2. Why? Because 9, 9s are 81 and this gives you 1. 11, 11s are 121 and 19 times 90 is also 361. So, these all gives 2. Okay. Rest is D4. So we have already discussed D4 a long way back. Let us again start with D4. So we have R0, R90, R180, R360, H, V, D and D dash. So we have already discussed these in chapter 1 and chapter 2 a lot of times. Still we are revising this because of the order. So order of D4 is 8. Now, if you want to see the order of the elements, so R0 is 1 because this is the identity element. R90 and R270 have the same order as 4 because they get uh, R0 after 4 rotations, means 4 times doing the same. Now, R180 and R, uh, sorry, H is equals to V, equals to D equals to d dash all have ordered two. So these are the things that we need to do. I hope you like. Thanks for watching.